close your eyes and find a friendly place inside, a place where the mind can stay and it feels okay. In the beginning it doesn't have to be anything special, but just something that's easy to stick with, relatively comfortable. And teach your mind how to stay there without grabbing on too tight, but at the same time without floating away. You want to get that sense of just right. You're right here with the sensations, but that's it. You're not trying to gobble the sensations down, but you're just staying in touch with them. This is important, especially in a hot day like this. Whatever comes by way of the mind, it just gobbles it down, and then it complains that its stomach aches. Well, it gobbled down a lot of heat. The heat is not the mind's business. The heat is the body's business. The mind can know that it's there, but you don't have to gobble it down. That way you can live with it and not be affected by it. And as for the things you want to do in the course of the day, well, some, some things that the heat does not allow, okay, just say, put those aside for the time being. Work on the things that you can do. There are always skillful things that we can do with our time. This is another important principle. Sometimes we sit around with waiting in a doctor's room or doing going someplace where there's a lot of wasted time. Well, other people may be wasting your time, but you don't have to waste your time. You can put that time to good use. Use it as a good time to train the mind, keep the mind centered, and have a sense of well-being in the midst of whatever else is going on. In other words, your experience is what you make of it. How you approach it, what your, range, your sense of the range of possibilities is. This is all a very important principle in the Buddhist teachings on karma. He didn't say simply that what experiencing now comes from the past and you can't do anything about it. He says there are potentials coming from the past. And what you do with those potentials is up to you right now. That's your new karma. And new karma, that's where you're free to have your choices, to do something more skillful or less skillful. To try to take advantage of the fact that even when things are not all that well outside, the range of choices is, isn't that big, there's always a, a skillful option. Go for the skillful option. And if you're not sure what it is, well, be willing to experiment. If you're trying to develop a good sense of healthy sense of self as a, a meditator, that's the attitude you should have, is you're willing to learn. So that when mistakes happen or things are not un uncomfortable, it's okay, here's an opportunity to learn. And then just watch carefully. See what you can pick up. When you have that attitude, every situation is an opportunity. And that's how you can make the most out of the fact that we do have the karma to be human beings right now, which is a mixture of good and bad things, but take the good and leave the bad behind. And you find that you won't be weighed down. And your stomach isn't going to ache because you're not gobbling down everything that comes your way. You're selective in your eating. <laughs>